So it's still um, Monday night here. It's on the other side of the creek. This side's a lot drier than the other side. This is the field that when I made that video that I got stuck in. Um, so it yeah, just about got it finished here, but yeah, the um, we had talked to our uh, we're a regional, but our local John Deere dealer, SEMA Equipment. They uh, they just got back to us today that they have a, a demo combine that we can try out. Last year my uncle tried out one. That was that um, 2011 9670. Um, this one, what did he say? We're getting a 2012 um, 2012 S550. And my understanding is the uh, the 550s. They're basically a 9570 with the revamped cab. That's a really nice cab or whatever. Don't quote me on that, but that's what it kind of looked like and that's what I've heard. Um, I think the thing's got like 750 engine hours and 275 separator hours. So I don't know what happened there, if they were just driving it around a bunch or what, but that's gonna be cool. You know, they're gonna send it over with a six row head. Um, the one my uncle had last year, they gave him a eight row chopping head. And uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. The issue with that is uh, he had a, he plants a 12 row two and it always grabbed, you know, every so often it would grab those two extra. Well, it shakes the cob and throws the cob off and it was just combine and goofy and it actually made quite a mess, he said, uh, in terms of losses on the ground. With adding with an eight row with a 12 row planter so it's kind of nice that they're sending it over with a six row head instead and he mentioned something about um like guidance technology so i'm assuming that means john deere's row sense and the one that uh, i ran last year for a couple hours there that 9670 that had row sense and that was that's really cool and i think it was set up with i don't know what they call it auto height or height sense or something so it's pretty much once they set it into the corn hands free um, this one's not chopping though which actually isn't that bad it's so muddy that if you get if you drop in i'm afraid that you would put those blades in the mud or whatever and just mess some stuff up so yeah, it'll be exciting to try out a combine like that um, definitely gonna they don't know the timeline they thought maybe later this week possibly early next week more than likely later this week they said so i gotta work uh, this week but maybe i can get out here and make a couple videos of it um so we'll see there it'll uh it'll definitely be neat i think he said it was a i want to say he said it was a class five machine on the phone And it's only two wheel drive though. So the issue is that when we get this two and a half, three inches of rain tomorrow night, is if they bring it, you know, a couple days afterwards, we gotta try to find a field that is uh, dry enough for it to not get stuck. So we have a couple fields that the headlands will be wet, but the inner field should be okay. So I'm just kind of brainstorming out here by myself thinking, we can open up the fields with this thing with the four wheel drive and then pick the field itself with that thing. But we'll just have to play it by ear. Maybe if it's too wet, they'll bring it next week or whatever and I'm off all next week. So that would be fun. I'm guessing we probably get eight or 10 separator hours to try it out. So they're gonna truck it over here and uh, yeah, make some videos of it. So 